Is the Fairfax County real estate market a trick or a treat this October? Hey everyone, it's Melvin Yates, your trusted real estate expert, back with the exciting October edition of the Real Estate Market Insight. Now this month, as the autumn leaves fall and the market shifts, we're uncovering key strategies every savvy homeowner and buyer should know. Now whether you're considering a move before the year wraps up or just keeping a pulse on the market, we've got the latest trends and unbeatable tips to keep you ahead of the curve. Our mission, to provide you with the insight and resources you need to confidently navigate today's ever-changing real estate landscape. Now, let's make your property aspirations come true. Now for the numbers. The average sales price was $859,778. This is an 18.1% increase over last year and a 0.2% increase over last month. The total sales volume in Fairfax County last month all added up was $788 million, and that's down 9.7% over the prior month. The average time it took to find a buyer was 19 days. Hey there, savvy homeowners and future buyers. Ready to stay ahead of the curve? Welcome to the October edition of our National Real Estate Update, where we're breaking down the latest on mortgage rates and what the market has in store. Here's the scoop. Annual inflation dropped to 2.4% last month as housing costs continued decelerating, an upbeat sign for prospective home buyers. The September inflation figures from the Consumer Price Index increased Thursday was down from 2.5% the prior month, giving the Federal Reserve policymakers a positive sign for potential rate cuts. Now for homeowners, the lower inflation figure is welcome news. It signals not only price stabilization for basic necessities, but also an economic environment conducive to mortgage rates remaining flat or continuing to fall. Lower inflation suggests that mortgage rates will come down further this fall. However, mortgage rates are impacted by broader economic conditions. So if labor market conditions continue to outpace expectations, we could see mortgage rates increase or at least not fall any further. Now, we already saw an uptick in mortgage rates this week on the heels of the strong jobs report, says Lisa Sturdivant, chief economist at Bright MLS. Let's get real. After peaking at 7.79% in October 2023, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate has been below 6.5% since mid-August, landing at 6.12% for the week ending October 3rd according to Robert Rothstein, Mortgages and Loan Writer at Forbes. Now looking ahead, Lisa Sturdivant poses an important question. Now that mortgage rates are falling and buyers seem to be jumping back into the market, where will home prices go this fall? Is it possible that lower rates this fall could actually come along with slower home price growth as more sellers get into the market and inventory continues to rise? Given these expectations, expert warn would-be buyers against waiting for further mortgage rate drops to avoid getting caught in a demand wave that reignites home price growth and puts home ownership out of reach. Now stay tuned for more updates as we continue to track these changes. Go, 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 go. In all of Fairfax County, there were 920 homes that ultimately sold. That's down 10.2% over the prior month and up 10.8% over last year this time. Wait a moment before you go. I have something that can make a significant difference for you. Curious about your home's true value? Visit our website to get your annual equity update. It's packed with everything you need to know about your property's current worth. And remember, I'm always here for you. Whether it's a call, text, or email, feel free to reach out with any real estate questions you might have. Your support means the world to us. So please like and subscribe. As your trusted real estate expert team in the DMV, we're here to guide you every step of the way. Looking forward to sharing more insight with you soon. Stay tuned.